Hi there and welcome to this video about how to create dynamic buttons for sharing uh, any kind of uh, dynamic pages. Uh, we will be using a little bit of custom code from Baldo and Anna uh, because I think it's uh, super helpful. There wasn't any video made about this topic uh, so I decided to make one and connect it to the uh, job board which I just created uh, with you. And we basically add this snippet to a uh, style guide page which we create uh, in the project Before You Shine which you can clone via the link in the description. And we will be covering everything from how to create these buttons and how to link them to a certain page. They only work uh, on, the, on a published side because obviously uh, from the editor you can't really share uh, something with a custom code. Keep that in mind because I think I felt that uh, at the, in the last bit of the, of the video. But let's look at how to do that. So, and how to create these dynamic buttons. Uh, we will use a snippet from Valdo and then uh, recreate it uh, into a guide uh, by another colleague of mine, by Anna Sabatini. Uh, you can, I will leave this, leave these links uh, in the description so you can take a look at the guide. Uh, but even with that, I found it slightly trickier to understand how it works. Uh, Waldo is doing some, some obviously crazy interaction here. Uh, Anna, Anna make it um, slightly more uh, easier to understand how it works, but even that, uh, I found it slightly trickier and it took me a while to figure it out how to, how to make this actually work. So I'll show you how to do this, uh, in a simple way. So basically in general, uh, we are trying to create something. What, uh, if I take a look at, for example, here art uh, in this, in this article, uh, on a site called the capital, uh, we want to make two buttons, one as a tweet, one as a share on Facebook, which will then, if you click on it, share the, the particular article. If I will go into another, another article, it will have obviously a different sharing URL or the tweet. So how to actually do this? We will actually create these. Cool. So let's export these and actually export them as SVG. Let's export them as SVG. So we will have them here and now Let's put them into assets, icon Twitter and icon Facebook. Awesome. So for this particular example, let's go to our style guide because we will have to style it properly first somewhere else. I think that's the easiest way to not, um, to be sure that you're styling something properly in one place and then reuse it uh, in another one. So you always have the one source of truth here. Uh, you can see that uh, we will be creating a Facebook and Twitter. So we will get actually these snippets, but the tricky part here is, so I, I will actually get the, get the code from here. Uh, I'm actually in the code, uh, using the share and tweet. I'm not sure if Anya has it there. No. So basically here, if you don't want to use only an icon, um, you can put there a text as well. So that well, that way it will appear on the button, but let's, let me show you how it works. So let's add embed. We will add embed, which is uh, HTML embed code editor. And it will basically put a snippet into our site of a custom code. Cool. So we add this, we don't have to care about what's inside. Now we can already see that it's uh, adding the share and tweet, uh, which is the text, which I added as a uh, text into the custom code, custom code, but I'm unable to edit this in any way because it's custom code and it's just generated with within the HTML embed. So, and this is where the tricky part begins because I didn't have any idea how to sort of style it, how to work with it. Uh, and I think this is where people will be, uh, as well, slightly struggling. Uh, so we will actually, uh, the, the block uh, of the HTML embed has to be called, uh, V inline block as it's actually stated here in the first part. So the class should follow this structure v inline block so let's add the html embed v inline block 
actually well let's let's create a div block we will call it the inline block awesome and now we will add a link block link block uh, which will then again follow the same logic structure of a social share button social share button and then let's keep only one for now we can actually duplicate it so we have two and then let's put the text inside as well so we can uh, style it properly as well so we will have share and we will have a uh, tweet the reason why I created two and didn't add the final class, which should be the FB or TV, TV, TW, is that because we want to style it in a similar way. So let's add the padding, margins, and any kind of uh, additional stuff first, and then create the combo class. So we want to create a 12, 12 pixels text bold visby so 12 pixels 22 no decoration and capitalize this should have removed that right it actually added remove it in the code as well so basically restyling something would then appearing somewhere else because it's generated by the code and is getting the classes which we styling here from the document. Let's reuse the same logic which we have for the text one on, uh, if it appears next to it so at some point. So it's 14, 22 and the puttings is 15 and 5 to the button. 15 and 5. Let's do 14 and 22 we have the first first bit now we can actually start styling it properly so we will have this one as fb so we are now creating a, another combo class fb and tv let's make this as a block as well we can actually have this one as a uh, flex box awesome and now uh, let's style it uh, slightly more so we want to have this as a white text this as well as a white text the colors are this one and now you see something is happening so facebook is this one and tweet is this one and now we can again see it's getting the colors uh, in the code where are no elements uh, created in Webflow, but it's getting the styling from there. So we are pretty much almost there. Now the tricky part. We can't add the icons to the code. Tricky part, uh, another another part which was, uh, which was slightly hard for me to understand is that we will use contain at the facebook icon no repeating actually no we will use custom no repeating and now we will use 15 pixels from the left right and now it's the smart part here is to have obviously uh, the icons the same width and height and now with the padding we will move it away from the image so the image is actually as a background I hope it makes sense uh, let me know in comments if uh, if you run into any issues with this uh, so now let's do 40 here as well let's try 40 add the image custom no repeating contain custom Interesting that it wasn't working before. Uh, 15 pixels. And we have it. Now the only part is that Facebook should have 10 pixels. 
So we now have the inline block styled here. But the funny part is that we will use the second one, which is the code generated thingy. Add the same name uh, to the div, style it however you want, and then add it to the custom code. And now you can see it's, uh, it's starting to do something. So let's grab this uh, and put it to the internships template. Uh, let's do one small thing here. So we need to add uh, one more div block and put the button there and then put there the snippet. And now let's do, uh, let's do flex space between and center it. And if everything was good, we need to actually, let's check how it works um, because we need to check the SEO somehow. So we need to have the position name, company, company name. Actually, it should be like this. And then here, before you shine.com. Let's do it like this so we can test it if it works. I can actually publish it to the, uh, the, to the testing domain and then check. Data scientist, deep note before you shine. Awesome. Share button works. What about Twitter? Data scientist, deep note before you shine and the right, right link. And this is it. This is the whole thing. And this is basically how you create a job board in, uh, in Webflow. So we have the list of jobs. You can go to, uh, the detail, you can share the detail, you can apply for the internship and everything is working. Awesome. So that was a little bit of magic, uh, with a little custom code. Uh, but I think at the end, uh, it's sort of really nice to see that, uh, we were able to wrap our head around and I think it's super helpful for any kind of portfolio for your blog, for the people to spread the word around about the awesome stuff, which you'll be creating. Awesome. My name is Jan Lossard. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the future with more of, uh, some Webflow stuff and no code things. Cool. Bye-bye.